So, slightly different video today because I'm looking at some of the materials that I actually use. And this is a means by which I've been getting materials over the last uh, couple of months uh, from uh, Artful. And it's a subscription box of art materials that comes out once a quarter. This was the first box that I got and really got me into the idea which is uh, related to ink and uh, I got uh, a number of uh, acrylic inks, uh, other materials like uh, uh, water brushes and so on, uh, really quite a lot in the box and uh, you could see from the portfolio that I've uh, developed in the likes of LinkedIn and Instagram and so on that I've used this particular box uh, extensively since Christmas time. Uh, back in March, I then got the second box, and that is slightly different again, and it related to uh, some fantastic uh, Tombow pens. Uh, clearly, uh, in the actual box, there are many, many more. But again, these pens were actually water-soluble, so what I eventually found was that I was actually using quite a lot with the acrylic inks uh, to develop uh, some of my paintings and so on. And there was a collection that I did recently uh, where I was doing drawings in Ascent, uh, where I used the acrylic inks and those pens. Uh, and that now takes me uh, to the latest box. And I'm going to open this one up because it really gives you a feel for uh, what it's all about. So, as I say, it comes out once every three months. Each box has its own theme. Each box has a fantastic artwork on the front. So, uh, if you're wanting to get inspiration, you get inspiration right from the get-go. And the illustration relates to the content inside the box. So, it's always a bit scary to actually open it up just in case you wreck it, but I'm just going to unzip, try and unzip it. There we go. And uh, we open it up. And I think one of the great things about it, you know, from the point of view of giving it as a present or something like that, it's always really nicely uh, put together, uh, really sort of curated and packaged. And this particular box came in at £35, so I think the big thing about that is that it's really quite accessible. Uh, you know, you're not spending a fortune on art supplies and you've actually got a complete kit in, and to use it uh, as you see fit. I think the other thing that I really found is that I had never used acrylic inks until I actually got that box and, uh, as a Christmas present and it really got me hooked. So I will come back to this particular box but coming back into the contents, quite typically they give you uh, a number of watercolour uh, cards that come with envelopes and so on. It is actually really quite good paper you could illustrate on that and so on uh, and that's really good um don't know what is in this tissue paper but uh, again everything tends to be really quite carefully uh, wrapped uh, and it's a, a good uh, unwrapping experience now this is actually uh, De La Rowney, um a masking fluid so that suggests that this is all about watercolours and uh, you put that down on paper and uh, you basically paint over it and you could then r take the, the sort of rubbery uh, material uh, off the paper. Quite a latexy type uh, product. The next thing uh, that we that appears is this little box. Now I've had one of these before so I know exactly what it's kind of like. Uh, and again, this really sort of underlines the, the point about uh, wrapping things well. These boxes are actually great to keep. And you could then begin to see uh, where we're going with this. So we've got a large flat brush, uh, pointed brushes, uh, a chisel uh, brush, which is great in terms of creating sharp lines and so on. Uh, and then we've got two uh, smaller brushes so 
a real uh, mix of uh, brush uh, tips and, and also sizes. Uh, these are all synthetic, they're all branded uh, by Artful, so they are, uh, I would say, uh, generic uh, brushes to some extent, but they are actually having used the set that came with the acrylic inks. They're actually uh, really good brushes and they hold a lot of water, they hold their shape uh, very, very well. So moving on, uh, we then have uh, a pencil uh, and this is a, an F pencil and again that's branded uh, by Artful. Uh, so an F pencil is a, a light grade of pencil uh, which then means that you can actually paint over it uh, uh, without um, really maintaining the line. And then a pipette which you could pick up water and drip onto wet paint and indeed uh, I've used a similar thing uh, with the acrylic inks that showed right at the start. So that's that there. I'll put that to one side. The next thing, uh, and this then begins to get a little bit difficult to take out, so excuse the fumbling, uh, but the one good thing is that you get to see the way that the artwork wraps around uh, the actual box. So the next thing that we uh, come to is the fact that we've actually got uh, a watercolour pad and you could see from this that it's 300 grams uh, per square metre, it's acid free and it's textured so that'll be cold press paper uh, and it's uh, heavy weight and it's made in the UK and that feels uh, really quite good and I have used it before uh, and it works well. So we'll put that back in the box uh, the other great thing, and this goes back to what I was saying about curating, and you can really see the subject of it now that it is watercolour, is that they put this uh, book uh, together, and I would describe it as a book, it's not a magazine, and it contains tutorials, it shows you other artists' work, um, it gives you ideas to uh, develop, it gives you the history of uh, the, the material that you're actually using and you know we could just flick through this and you could begin to see uh, the variety of uh, material that they actually uh, go through uh, and this actually gets backed up online by a series of videos as well so you could really see that you're getting a lot of information from Artful um, in terms of supporting you uh, to actually develop uh, particular techniques and so on. And as I say, you know, going back to the very first box that I got the acrylic inks, that was actually wonderful for me because I had never actually used them. And, you know, I must admit, uh, it is actually a, a book that I sort of dip in and out of. Uh, I found uh, during the three months uh, between each uh, between each box, so uh, that's it. You could see uh, the variety of work, huge variety of work, uh, different subject matters, and so on. Uh, and then actually, this particular uh, piece is uh, talking about uh, the cover artwork uh, being developed, and you could see the the artist who specialises in doing that type of work. Uh, but again, he's got quite a a varieties portfolio because he's got all these paintings uh, of uh, city life in the States as well, you know. So, uh, you know, really quite inspiring and, you know, you could then go into basic techniques in terms of how to use the, the materials and uh, the, the tools and so on that come with it. So, uh, it's definitely a great, uh, a great read. So, all of that uh, comes together, you can see the various parts and obviously uh, at its core uh, this month is uh, this watercolour box and uh, you can see it's quite stout tin, it's got uh, uh, something somewhere to put your finger if you actually do it, do paint outdoors um, and it then opens up 
and you've got your big deep pans for uh, very watery watercolour at one side and then shallower pans on the other side uh, you know for uh, finer detail and so on and there's actually 24 half pans of, uh, of paint in here um, in a variety of colours there's definitely a good spread of colour here uh, so actually uh, quite an interesting box uh, you know I've definitely used watercolour um, I've never actually had a box that is uh, quite this big uh, I tend to, I've always tended to use uh, smaller boxes and actually always artist grade um, material because of the strength of the pigments and so on so it'll be interesting to see where this greater variety of colour takes me and also how these stand up uh, in comparison to uh, Windsor & Newton, uh, Dale Rowney and Sinelli paints that I've uh, uh, got in various uh, half-used boxes and so on elsewhere. So that's uh, what uh, I've got and I think it's uh, really quite an interesting uh, way of uh, learning and uh, certainly something that you can look forward to uh, you know once you actually get involved in it uh, online they do lots of uh, prompts and so on uh, and you get the opportunity to share your work and, and things like that you know so uh, I think there's things there for people who are getting in to uh, uh, working with art materials uh, certainly I do uh, illustrate and so on I would say semi-professionally um, you know sometimes in my life I've done that to a greater extent but it's always been a factor in my life uh, and certainly I find the materials uh, really good you know so um, it's certainly worth something uh, having a look at and seeing whether that uh, interests you thank you very much bye